way to Robbie Thunder Ground Cloud. How's everyone doing today? So, as you can tell, I'm going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I played this a while back, but never actually finished it. I did Nights 1 to 5, but never finished with the 6th. And as of recently, uh, a new game was released for Five Nights at Freddy's, a VR game called Help Wanted. And uh, when I was watching a few videos of it on YouTube, it kind of got me thinking, I never actually played through the whole series. And I would kind of like to do that before I move on to the VR game. Um, so I have almost every one of the FNAF Final uh, Series games currently, and uh, I'm going to play, be playing through them from one all the way up to the final one, which was the pizzeria simulator thing. I remember that. And, uh,. One thing though, my save file from my original Let's Play of this was not saved or brought over to this game when I, re when I had to re-download it. So I'm going to have to play through nights 1 to 6 uh, all over again. I was originally planning on just playing night 6, then moving on to Final Fantasy Freddy's 2. But yeah. So uh, we're going to be getting into Final Fantasy Freddy's again. Play it from beginning to end and uh, move on to two. Hopefully, as quickly as possible. And I'm kind of hoping that this time, unlike the last time I played this, things are a bit more eventful. Because if I remember correctly, um, nights one to five, not much really happened. Surprisingly enough, they didn't attack me or come after me much. They kind of just dawdled around the pizzeria and they scared me. A few times, that was about it. But regardless, um, let's get into the game and we'll see how she goes. Ready Thousand Pizza. Yep, looking for a nice shift security guard. <laughs> Not in no response for injury or dismemberment. Well, shit. <laughs> when you put it like that. <laughs> And there's the phone guy. Hello? Hello? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so... Mm -hmm. I know it can be a bit overwhelming. Good for you. But I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first Okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, yeah, there's a be a legal pizza, business involved in uh, place this business. Grown-ups alike. Because the security guard's probably... Entertainment is I imagine they go through security guards, like, I guess going on a style. Not bad. Sounds sketchy as fuck. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I <laughs> Quirky, that's what I put no. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable like. at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of moved. children and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So right. just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up and they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too, but then there was the bite of 87. In case you're wondering when yeah. I'm looking at, at the it's camera, the human body can live I'm actually looking at OBS alone, over here, you know? watching the sound levels. Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. 
Now, That's unfortunate. Now, against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Yeah, uh, I would imagine. The only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. Gee, but I hey, wonder why. Hey, first station breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Got to conserve power. All right, good night. Watching you, motherfuckers. So far, nobody's made a move, which is good, honestly. Last thing I want to deal with is. Okay, the music started up. So somebody should start moving very soon. It'll either be the chicken or the rabbit. Is up that that uh, music? It's not sure what you call that him music. I know, I know I know there's a, there's a name for the thing that usually plays that kind of like circus music. I forget what it's called though. Chicken's on the move. So Chica made the first move. This is gonna be interesting. I still remember Chica from last time. God, I hate Chica. I mean, I always hated chickens in video games for a long time, but yeah, first I hated chickens, now I'm now I hate robot chickens. Well, except for that one, but that one's the only exception. Okay, there's Bonnie in the hallway. It's 3 a.m., so, so far everything's going good. They're being active, and uh, I at least have something to do while I'm flipping through the cameras. Now, I know Freddy and Foxy don't get too active the first night or so. I think Foxy doesn't become active till day two. Freddy not till about day three or four. Chica's in the kitchen. Bonnie's still in the hallway. And I got 47% power left. Never mind, 46. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's active. That's 
strange. I don't remember that ever happening before. Or being up hit, uh, Fox being up this early. Must be like a, a rare occurrence or something. Cheek is the bathrooms. Plenty's in the, in the dining area. Foxy's still there, looking creepy. And Freddy. Freddy is just taking in the show as it happens. is in the kitchen. Exactly where a chicken should be. the kitchen. Okay, well, there, there's first night down. Hopefully things do, in fact, escalate from here. So far, everything's going good. Everything's aces. But it's 1 a.m. So, things being aces right now doesn't say much. straight away from the dining area. is in the kitchen, he is in the closet. Fox is not out, Freddy is still on stage. Okay, good. 
Things seem good. Keep an eye on Foxy though. At least if Chica or Bonnie move, I can hear them. Foxy, you don't hear it till it's too late. Well, not really. Technically, you hear just before it's too late. So you got like a split second to react. off bunny man okay bunny man left and there's chica you know I was actually watching a video of uh, Fight Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted and somebody was replaying the scenario of the original game here One thing they pointed out that was actually kind of cool was with it being in VR, of course. Uh, you can actually see outside the cameras. Like, you can actually look out into the hallway and see these motherfuckers. Like, if Chica was there, I could just look out, just lead and look out the door. See Chica stand there and, you know, preemptively start shooting bricks. He finally decided to give a little peekaboo. Okay. Bonnie's in the hallway. Foxy's there. Chick is in the kitchen. Exactly where a chicken should be. Did I already say that? I think I did. And my game crashed, so <laughs> I think I'll have to try and fix that. That that was weird. Okay. <laughs> Stop the recording and uh, see if I can get back to that. That. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come on stage very often. I see you, chicken. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though. So, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view. And those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something, 
or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long period of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Okay, so it looks like Bonnie moved. Okay, there he is. Oh, that's there's a close up there, Bonnie. Still there, that's good. Ah, oh, crap, they're moving. Bonnie's in the hallway. Foxy's here, and Chica's still hanging out in the dining area. I don't like Chica that much, but the one who worries me the most right now is Bonnie, because Bonnie keeps disappearing from the cameras, and I can't find him. Yeah, I see you, you motherfucker. You stay there. Okay, so Chica's in the kitchen now. Hopefully she stays there. Okay. Just as long as everyone stays away from me, I'm happy. Okay, she's still in the kitchen. She just stopped making noise for a minute. That kind of worried me. by the bathroom. Okay.
Hopefully Golden Freddy doesn't pop up again and scare the shit out of me. Or kill me, I mean. I can crash the whole damn game. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah. Game over. Try her again. and decide to come off as a pair today. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Bonnie. Both of you getting real close to the kit, those cameras. It's like they know. Which likelihood is that they do now? I mean, come on, they've been here forever, so... Like, the entire duration of their existence. So, of course they'd know where the cameras are. figure out how what would be a good interval to check the cameras. Problem is I have to keep checking for Foxy to keep make sure he doesn't come running out. Upside is uh Chica and Bonnie both make noise as they're moving. Realistically, just to know where they are. There. Okay. And Fox isn't out yet, so this should go a lot smoother than last time.
Yeah, it sounds like he left. He's there. Oh shit. Now Cheek is taking a shot. Go back in there. Actually, can he go back in there? Like, if I keep looking at him, is he gonna go back in there, or is looking at him just like prolonging whatever he's gonna do? he goes for this door, so... I'm screwed. Hopefully that staying still thing still works. Maybe we might just make it to six o'clock.
Oh. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for now. Um, yeah, I didn't get as far as I was hoping I was gonna get in the amount of time I was playing this, but oh well. Let's see if we can get farther next time. This game's quite a bit of fun, and uh, definitely looking forward to what the VR version is gonna be like. From what it's fun I've seen, it looks like they basically recreated games one to three. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen too much about what else is in the, what else is in the game except for uh, different modes you can play. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. And uh, yeah, until next time, this is Robbie the Undead Chronicler. See you next time.